hey you guys good morning welcome back to the vlog y'all can see i'm low energy this morning <laughs> y'all it's 4 30 i'm about to head out the house to go to the gym i don't know if it's just me but in the mornings y'all like don't talk to me let me wake up let me get myself together before you start talking to me because i'm a morning person because i'm thankful to be up every morning but y'all i'm not a morning person <laughs> like it takes me a good like two or three hours to kind of wake myself up and get my thoughts together and especially this early like when i have to wake up this early it's like i mean first of all i don't have nobody here at the house to talk to you but <laughs> when is this early i'm like let me let me just wake up and get my mind together but i literally like to get myself up this early i literally just roll myself out of bed as soon as the alarm goes off because if i don't i'll go back to sleep and i won't wake up until like 5 30. so <laughs> I'm about to head out the house, y'all, to go to, try not to be so loud, to go to the gym. Yeah, I'm about to head to Planet Fitness to get this workout on. So I will talk to y'all when I get there. <laughs> I just finished doing my makeup I just have to put the final touches on like my lip gloss and a little bit more mascara and I'll be done that's why I like waking up early y'all because I can take my time doing my makeup and getting ready for work I do have to head out in a minute but I like waking up at 4 30 because I can go to the gym come home kind of relax cook breakfast read my bible do some cleaning like I have some laundry going now I can kind of wipe down the kitchen and I can just really take my time getting ready in the morning rather than waking up at seven and rushing out the door so I am here for it um I'm about to take my vitamins I got this really cute vitamin organizer from Amazon I love this thing because it gives you every day of the week morning noon and night so if you have to take vitamins twice a day you can put it in these little containers and then you can open it up and take like the individual day with you so if you're going to be um, at work for a long time or whatever the case may be you can take it with you to work and take your vitamins as often as you need to so i really love that so normally on sundays i'll go ahead and put all my vitamins in my containers for the week um in my containers let me show y'all what i put in my where my other one is but in my container i put this um blood builder like for my iron y'all let me close this pantry <laughs> y'all this is organized this is organized and it looks full and mind you i decluttered my pantry so this is like stuff that's current and i did go grocery shopping recently so don't come for me <laughs> but um i do put this blood builder it's kind of like an iron booster supplement i put that in my vitamin organizer and i take this twice once or twice i think once a day so i do that if y'all don't know i am anemic so i do have to make sure that my iron levels are up because um i was experiencing a lot of like blurriness in my eyes extreme fatigue and this has helped me out a lot so i take that and then i take my vitamin b peels i take my this is like a fluid supplement. Y'all know I have lymphedema, so this helps the fluid to regulate better in my legs um, and in my calf area. So that does help. It's not a treatment for lymphedema, of course. It just helps the fluid flow through my body a lot better. So my, my ankles and my feet aren't really stiff and it's not like an achy feeling. So this really does help me out a lot. So if you guys have lymphedema or if you just have a lot of inflammation, definitely check this out. Um, and I'll have these two I got from Amazon. So I'll have that link in the description box along with the organizer and then um, this one I got from Sprouts and then I also put um, this vitamin D prescription that I got from my doctor I put that in my Tuesday container because I take that 
every Tuesday. So I only have to take it once a week. So I put that in the container. But yeah, you guys, I really like it because it helps me to stay on track and remember to take my vitamins every day. Because when I don't take my vitamins, I can feel it. Like I feel really tired and I just don't feel myself. Oh, and I put my birth control in as well um, for my endometriosis. So yeah, y'all, um, I'll have all the stuff linked down in the description box. But I did just want to let y'all know how I stay on track with taking my vitamins and supplements. But I'm about to make my green smoothie for breakfast. I'm going to make that real quick um, and have that with probably some boiled eggs or something and finish getting ready for work. y'all i'm back home i've been home for a few hours now i just changed my clothes took off some of my makeup and i've been chilling around for a second trying to just relax and get some work done for the little thing i'm working on for y'all so that's what i've been doing for the past few hours but y'all it is so cold today like it's in the 40s like probably the 30s and i'm freezing i have the heat on but i don't like to turn my heat on too high because um i don't like being hot so i'm about to start my fireplace so that's why i'm down here <laughs> by the fireplace because i'm about to start it i love having a fireplace y'all this is like the what the third time the second or third time I've lit my fireplace up and it's just so cozy like it gives you all the vibes all the feels and I love it this is actually the first year out of the three years that I've been here that I've used my fireplace so I'm just so thankful to have it because it definitely just adds a nice element of coziness and I just love it y'all so that's what I'm doing down here I'm about to <laughs> start this fireplace so I can get in the mood I'm about to fix dinner for dinner I'm fixing um coconut shrimp with the baked potato and broccoli pretty basic dinner so i'll show y'all how i fix that um so i just wanted to have like a nice quiet evening with the fireplace going give me a glass of wine while i'm cooking all the vibes okay but yeah you guys um today was a good day at work um this morning i did the deposit so um i normally don't do the deposit during the week but my manager does want me to get acquainted with the new system that we have they changed bank so the new bank has has a different way of doing things so he wants me to learn it so that if my co-worker is gone or goes on vacation I know how to do the deposits so today's deposit was pretty small it was only like 10,000 and change um, normally our deposits are like 25k and up so I did that and this new system is pretty easy to use so I just wrote down all my notes so that way if I do have to do it on my own I don't have to go back and ask her how to do it and what else happened at work today pretty much the same old stuff um, this one lady tried to get hype with me on the phone. I'm like, girl, calm yourself down. Okay, first of all, like I, I really don't like when people get on the phone with the attitude. Like, tell me what's going on. Tell me who you are so I can help you. Like, don't come on the phone with the attitude because I know I'm petty, y'all, but I'm the type of person, like, whatever energy you give into me, I'm going to give right back to you. And, of course, I'm not going to be unprofessional because I'm at work, but I'm not going to go out of my way to help you either. So, you're just kicking your own self in the butt. So, I had one of those customers today, and I'm like, girl... You better be glad I'm saved, okay? You better be glad I'm at work, okay? Because you don't want none of this, okay? <laughs> but I just can't, y'all. I don't have time for your problems, okay? Don't be putting your problems on me. But anyway, y'all, let me go ahead and get this fireplace going, cook some dinner, and get ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Alright 
y'all so here is my dredging station so i have my shrimp with the tail on i have my flour mixture here which is the flour um garlic powder old bay adobo and a pinch of salt and then i have my egg mixture here which is just two eggs and some hot sauce and then i have my panko and coconut flake mixture so we're going to go from the flour to the egg to the coconut and then we're going to fry it up in the skillet to fry up the shrimp y'all these look so good already i love coconut so i'm so happy that it has all this coconut goodness on it honey so i cannot wait to try these out um my nails came off <laughs> i'm about to take them off tonight because they're about done for i had them on for what a week almost a week and a half over a week so this set did pretty good so I'm gonna take these off tonight before I go into work tomorrow but I did want to show y'all y'all remember my uh my boss made me this over the stove situation and um I am going to stain it but I did want to show y'all that I picked up this container for my oil and vinegar and I love it y'all it looks so cute and aesthetic and then I also picked up this salt container you know I'm trying to do a little something something here in the kitchen so i love the way this looks so once i stain it it's gonna look even nicer and i have to fix the backsplash too but yeah y'all so that's what my little setup is looking like so let me go ahead and fry up the shrimp and then i have my boiling water going to cook my broccoli and then i'm gonna whip up my potato and dinner is done So here is how dinner turned out it smells so freaking good it looks so good get into it honey so i can't wait to try it out um for the dipping sauce it's just equal parts of sweet chili sauce and i used orange marmalade but you can definitely use like apricot jam or any sweet kind of jam like that and it'll taste just as good so let me go ahead and get into this dinner because it looks so good it smells so good so i have my loaded baked potato the coconut shrimp and some broccoli all right you guys let me try the shrimp i'm gonna try it by itself first mm, mm, mm. this is really good y'all mm. i burnt half the shrimp <laughs> i had the oil on too high but that is really good I'll write out the recipe down below because I used the recipe, but then I put my own spin on it. So I'll have the recipe written down below in the description box if you guys want to try it out. Mmm. So good. You get hints of the sweet coconut, but you still have a little bit of flavor from the seasonings. Really good. So let me try it with the dipping sauce. Mmm. Tastes just like a restaurant. So if y'all are in the mood for coconut shrimp, definitely try out this recipe because it is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all, there's nothing like a home cooked meal after work. Nothing like it, honey. It's definitely worth all the trouble. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. I'm about to finish eating. For a drink, I have a mix of LaCroix and cranberry juice that I'm going to sip on. No wine this evening. I was going to pour me up some wine, but I don't feel like it. When I drink wine, I get really sleepy. So I was like, nah, not tonight. I have to go to work in the morning. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm not sure if this is going to be a short vlog or not, but I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Don't forget to leave me a comment, like the video, and share the video with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next video.